Hi guys, welcome to my podcast episode. Today we're going to talk about whether you should still chase your dreams even if it's accepted or not accepted. And for me, my dreams weren't always accepted, especially with the people that were very closest to me or my family. Some of them did, some of them didn't, you know, but whether your dream is accepted or not, still do it. Because once your dream is in your heart, Nothing can stop you. Nothing will take you away from your dream. And you will always want to do your dream, even when it seems silly. Because you have to be delusional when you are chasing your dreams. Because if you don't, you know, you're not going to achieve it. You have to have that hard work ethic in yourself every single day. You have to have belief in yourself every single day. You know, you cannot have doubt. While you are chasing your dreams, the more you have doubt, the more you will give yourself excuses. The more excuses you give, the more that you are not going to take action on your dreams. So you literally have to keep facing the fact that your dream won't be accepted until it becomes a reality. And once you chase your dreams and make it a reality, then people will accept you and for what you believe in. And it's hard to balance trying to work hard on yourself, growing yourself, and people aren't accepting you for who you are. And you almost feel as if you are a loner because now you're alone. Like, nobody relates to you. Nobody has a dream. And you are working hard by yourself. And it's like you want people to support you while you are chasing your dreams because it gives you a sense of fulfillment and you are good at, doing something and you want to be able to show the progress that you're making but if you have nobody to show it to you kind of question yourself it's like am I really doing good because no one wants to see my dreams but I'm here to tell you just do your dream anyway your dream will give you the space in your life you know because oftentimes when we don't have a dream we have a void you know you feel empty in life as in you're not happy but you're not sad either you just feel like meh like you feel the same you know so that's why you have to have something to go for have something to strive for be great within yourself and you know I was made fun of for my dreams because I started my dream and you know my age bracket for the thing that I was doing you know was out of the normal you know age so therefore they were like oh why would you do it because you know, you're not going to be able to even do close to what the other people did. But I just brushed it off, you know, and just did my own thing for a while and it started working. So you just have to follow your gut and have more to give so that you can see who you are. You know, you have to figure out who you are because if you are often just feeding in the energy that you are getting from others and you don't do anything about it, you will fall into the trap of doing whatever they tell you to. And it's like, it's okay to not be, you know, like everybody else. It's okay to be yourself. You just have to make sure that you're not getting lost trying to be somebody else or trying to impress somebody else. Don't try and impress nobody else but yourself. You are the only competition in this game of life. And... You need to just give yourself time and just see that it's not going to happen overnight. But as long as you tell yourself every single day that it's going to happen, then it's going to happen because you are putting those affirmations and you also are putting action towards making it come true. Because you need to have a vision and you need to imagine yourself already successful before you even start. If you don't do that, you're never going to start. You're never going to follow through. You're never going to finish. So just make the progress that you can now and you will succeed. Like there's a guarantee that you will succeed. You know, don't fall into the people that don't want much for themselves because they don't do anything, you know. So we are often not awake and we need to be awoke because we are living in modern day slavery as in soon as you get paid you get taxed that tax that they take is so much to the point where it's like 
it almost feels like your work isn't even worth it anymore. Then you are either dealing with so many things at work, whether your boss doesn't like you or you don't like somebody at your job and, you know, your job isn't for you anymore. You feel like as if you're a robot or the job is too hard. And then it's almost like you want to leave your job, but you can't leave your job because the job pays your bills, you know? And it's like the job is so tiring to the point where you have no energy left to even chase your dreams. You know, don't get to a point where you get burnt out, you know, just follow your heart and let what your heart is saying and listen to it and do what it says. Because nine times out of 10, your gut feeling is always correct. So don't go against your gut, you know, just be yourself and don't try and see what you can copy from somebody else because even if you copy somebody else who's more successful than you you're not going to get the same results because it's hard to just copy somebody who's already top you don't know what they did you only see what they you know show to the world you know you don't see what's behind the scenes so you cannot really copy anybody else you are your own version you know give birth to the new life of what you want to accomplish what vision do you have for yourself? You have to have a vision. Picture your mind, be, you know, your life being 10 times better than it is now. You know, if you are not financially stable, picture yourself being wealthy. You know, if you are always busy all the time, picture yourself always having time, you know. Picture yourself the opposite from where you are just to see whether you want it or not. Because once you want it, you'll go for it all the time and you'll do whatever it takes to be able to have it. You know, you cannot just picture something for yourself and think that, oh, I can't have it. You can have it because you've seen the picture in your mind. So you can accomplish it. So just go for it. Go forward. Fall forward. You know, pick your mind and put it in a new place of peace and just learn more things about yourself so that you can put yourself more out there encourage yourself to do more things build courage build braveness so that you can attack your challenges because oftentimes we are too scared to even face the challenge so don't be scared to face the challenge you know every challenge you are facing you will not have to face it again so strive for more strive for greatness don't allow yourself to stay the same, especially if you don't like it. Whatever you don't like, fix it. You have the power to fix your life. You have the power to fix anything. You are not limited to anything. What you think you are is who you are. You know, food for thought. Like You have to feed yourself positive things and positive information that will make you a better person so that you don't have to struggle the same anymore. You know, but this concludes my episode, my podcast. If you do enjoy this type of content, please let me know in the link of this video down below in the comments. It would be graciously appreciated. Thank you. Please leave a like, comment, share on this video. Be much appreciated. Thank you and have a great one. Let's go.